<laughs> all right, let, let's go to what is interesting here. The president right now, all he wants to talk about is, uh, he's talking about gay scout masters, apparently, accepting gay scout masters, gay marriage, uh, gun control, watering down welfare requirements, um, abortion rights, war on women, everything but the bad economy. Right. Strategic, purposeful? Um, yes, um, but I, I really would like to concentrate on the lies they're taught, they are, that is being, are being repeated in, on the op-ed page of the New York Times and the editorials of the New York Times by the president himself. Um, he says if, if we want to do something to reduce these gun shootings, all we have to do is for the American people to want to do something, like the hunters. No, we need the ACLU and the liberals who will not do anything about the mentally ill to be serious about stopping these shootings. This kid who was who was kidnapped in in Alabama and just finally released today. That, that was a crazy man who took him. Everyone knew he was crazy. The American sniper, this great American male, more American shots of the enemy than any other military man. He was killed by a man with a history of mental problems. Oh, and by the way, he listens to conservative talk radio. And Connecticut, must be. Aurora, um, Tucson. These are crazy people. That is the problem. Everything they're telling you about what they can do about guns is a lie. The problem with universal background checks is we basically have universal background checks now. Any licensed gun dealer is performing a background check. The buyer may not know, someone at a gun show may not know, but if you are walking through a gun show, everybody's doing background checks. The only people who are not subjected to background checks are, are collectors giving guns to their sons or they're, they're selling one to their brother-in-law or something. The only way to enforce a univer universal, the last 0.1% of guns that are transferred by collectors and so on is to have universal gun registration. But what about... Wait, that's an important right. point. I am listening. For some reason, Wayne LaPierre is not making, so you're going to have to hear it from me. Universal background check means universal registration. Universal registration means universal confiscation, universal extermination. That's how it goes in history. Do not fall for universal background checks. Point two, this thing about how in the New York Times editorial page today or yesterday um, and from the hearings last week that a gun in the home is more likely likely to be used against the owner than to kill an intruder. Okay, just two points about that. The whole thing is a lie. Um, that is because most of the ways a gun is used in the home to kill someone is suicide. That's more than 90% of those cases. Um, you might say, well, but then having a gun means they're going to commit suicide and they wouldn't have other otherwise. No, that is false. Gun, um, suicide rates do not go up with the availability of guns. The Japanese, for example, have no guns. They have twice our suicide rate. You see the same thing state to state. No matter what the gun laws are, suicide rates have nothing to do with that. And finally, what, we only count a homeowner repelling an intruder if he murders him? If he kills him dead? How about if he just holds him until the police arrive? No, that doesn't count in the equation. This is a lie they are telling you in order to prevent Americans from self-defense, from protecting themselves so that only the government has a monopoly on guns. Let me 